Fortnite is a masterpiece of musical storytelling. I'm not trolling. This game is more than just a funny haha bit and genuinely has some of the best musical coherency in all of media. Most people aren't ready for that conversation, but I am. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Outplay. If you're anything like me, you record a lot of Fortnite gameplay clips. Outplayed is a free video capture app that will make this easier than ever. You can record your epic clips, epic fails, and epic wins. There's even an inbuilt clip editor and upload tool so you don't need any other apps to show your skillful gameplay to the world. You can use my link in the description or pinned comment to download it today. Totally free! Now back onto the video. I don't even know where to begin, so I guess I'll start with the who. Phil Boucher is a composer who works on all sorts of projects, from Pirates of the Caribbean to Hello Kitty? Anyway, he has been contacted by Epic Games numerous times to work on the Fortnite score and is, well, as far as I can tell, their main guy for the big stuff like story cinematics and live event scores. His first score for Fortnite was Ahoy, the pirate theme for Chapter 1 Season 8. Doesn't that just scream pirate to you? Boucher does an incredible job at composing original themes that blend different genres into Fortnite, whether it be emulating the feel of a spy thriller, creating a Christmas jingle, the trees aglow, minis flow, a wonderland of snow. Or making you feel an impending sense of dread as a meteor slams into a space-time orb and destroys all of creation. Yes, that's right, he did this theme. There seems to be nothing this man can't compose. Boucher is, of course, not the only musical mastermind at Epic. They have a whole sound team dedicated to creating awesome lobby tracks, ambient themes, and menu music. And it's not just in the music itself, but how it's used. During the end, as the Seven plan their final move to implode the Zero Point and reshape the universe as we know it, the music shifts into a sort of countdown, counting down to the end, the Fortnite as we know it, and the music beats seven times. The ambience heard during the black hole sequence following that event may sound like just, well, ambience but speed it up significantly and suddenly it sounds very familiar. I think that's my favourite part, just how the leitmotifs of Fortnite are heard throughout the soundtrack. In fact, that's what inspired me to make this video. I want to highlight some of my favourite uses of leitmotifs in Fortnite, starting with that original theme.
classic, right? Speaking of classic, there's the other original music, best known as Lobby Classic. The iconic piece from the end is the Zero Points theme and can be heard in dramatic, important moments from across the seasons, representing how the Zero Point itself as an entity ties the game's universe and events together. The Seven have an action theme, a rising, repetitive track that plays largely during the same important events where the Zero Point theme is heard, representing their connection to the Zero Point as its protectors and saviours. The repetitiveness of the track correlates with the loop, an important gameplay element during Fortnite and a huge part of the story. It's a symbolic part of music that I just think is so beautiful. And don't get me started on those live events. The music work there is incredible, some of the best video game soundtracks I have ever heard and that is not an exaggeration.
different characters have their own themes that, rather than simply being repeated ad nauseum, are worked into the moments cleverly. There's this theme, commonly associated with Agent Jones and his action moments with the Seven. Midas's theme was common during his spy season, but nowadays is a rare and real blessing. Dr. Sloan has her own theme too, which again, isn't too common these days. These character themes combine with other elements like voiced quests and loading screens to create identity for the outfits the player can wear, helping with the creative world building of what could have just been a simple generic battlefield. Everything has its own unique sound, giving different entities, factions, locations, different feelings. I'm not a music guy. I know what my ears like to hear, and that's about it. But my ears love to hear the music of Fortnite. There's really something for everyone. Valentine's melodies. Action hero themes. Rock tracks. Butter barn ho down baby, oh come on down. Fortnite is, of course, also home to its fair share of real world music too. Very much thankfully, it hasn't stepped into the blockbuster movie territory of playing a pop song during an important character moment. But there have been live concert events featuring Marshmello, Travis Scott, Ariana Grande and more, and the Fortnite festival mode is home to hundreds of tracks, some free, most paid DLC. It's Fine, I still haven't really played Festival, it's just not my thing. Alright, I think that's enough rambling. I like Fortnite, I like the music in Fortnite. It's great, it's underrated, and you should listen to it. Thanks once again to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. There's a link to download in the pinned comment and description. Please click it so I can pay my rent. Cheers.